and we're recording. So it's it's been a really long time since I did a YouTube video, uh, and I got Lisa here with me. Hello, Lisa. Hi. And we started a whole new world because in the last world there were some land ownership issues <laughs> <laughs> with Phil, <laughs> and he griefed us. And uh, so this time we've started a new world, and we're gonna make sure that's not gonna happen again. Everybody's got their own plot of a thousand twenty-four by a thousand twenty-four blocks. You should link to that video. <laughs> How about I don't? <laughs> I thought it was funny. I know you did. So this is my land, and we're gonna tour around all the land eventually, I guess. But we're starting with my land, and this is my house. It's not finished yet. You know, it's just a modest little thing. <laughs> It's got three rooms. This is going to be a meeting room, I guess. I'm going to put furniture in here, dining hall of some sort. And this is going to be an indoor pool with a cool glass going down to that crevice there. And then we can come up and see some of the features around this place. So, my entire land is actually is surrounded by... Well, my land is bigger than this, obviously. I'll, I'll have a look at the map in a sec, but... I, I kind of fenced out an area that I was going to build in. And everything else is going to stay pretty much natural. For the most part, until I run out of space. Which I guess I'll, I'll probably eventually do. And you never know what's going to happen when we turn on jungles, anyway. I lost you, Lisa. I don't know where you went. I'm still in your building. It's just huge. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the front door. Okay. I don't know where you are. I feel like this always happens. Like, we always lose each other in the midst of recording. Um, and then you end up waiting for me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so this is my portal area. It's not finished yet, it's mostly finished. It's basically just two spirals wrapping around each other. And I know people are going to say this is like B00 floor, but come on. Invent it, come on. It's not that creative. Whatever, I love you, B00, you're awesome. Um, so, yeah, this is my portal area. I finally figured out a way to make portals not ruin like the infrastructure of a building like you know aligning things and stuff and that is to have four of them like a TARDIS so yeah it's the central feature of this thing uh, still setting. okay I'm gonna use the time thing so that we can make a video that is in daylight uh, and this over here is my pyramid which I'm particularly happy with which is use the path because it's triangular, it's not your classic square pyramid, it's a triangle pyramid. And, um, yeah, oh, nice. I didn't know that you could die by... I don't know. Die sheet? Yeah. Yeah, I've got one of each colour in here. They're nuts. He's gonna, he is gonna come get you. Get die sheet like that. Who's gonna get me? Peter. Who? People for the ethical treatment of animals. They want my wool? Is that what you're saying? No, people for the ethical treatment of animals. What's what's unethical about this? You're treating animals with chemicals. Dyes? <laughs> Ground up flowers? <laughs> Whatever. Hippie. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh... I had to keep lowering the floor because the sheep in multiplayer just like glitched like mad. You, you see it like any second now. Some sheep is gonna just start jumping like crazy. And there was one for a second there. And then they'll go crunch as they fall back down to the ground. And they say, what is that? It's like, what is this nonsense? Fix your game, Jim. Okay. Don't let any sheep out. <laughs> okay, so this used to be the portal room over here. But now it's just sort of the main entrance to my underground mine system. Actually, my first portal was down the bottom because 
Lava and obsidian, easy. Okay, let's go to where I started. First shelter. I, I naively thought, I'll make this my sand quarry over here. <laughs> Dig it all out, but man, I have had so much sand, it's not funny. So this is, this is where I started. Put my enchanting table in there, bed, a staircase down. Go to the nether really quickly, that was my goal. Just get to the nether. Because I wanted to get potions and I want to get glowstone for all my lighting. And man, do I have a lot of glowstone. There's nothing out that way, Lisa. I haven't really built anything outside my territory. There's like one exception that's over there. Okay, so next up is the farm. Get food. So yeah, this is my farm. Get this uh, lily pad idea from... I don't know who it was. It might have been... Uh, some YouTuber, thank you. And this is not an automated farm because now, you know, you don't really need to automate the wheat when you can walk on it. You can even run on it and it doesn't get ruined. Anything you can't do is jump, but who needs to jump on wheat except animals? And because this is a desert biome, animals don't spawn out here, so I don't have to fence this in or anything. But I am definitely going to put pistons under these melons because melons are ridiculous. I mean, I've only harvested the melons once and I still haven't run out the whole time. So I'm going to put the controls to harvest that inside my longhouse here. This is where I'm going to store all the excess produce. And then I've got lots of reeds and cactus on the other side of the building. And I've got three x-ray machines here for three different angles because I was trying to find a stronghold. But turns out there's no stronghold anywhere near me. I actually thought there was one way out that way. But it turned out just to be abandoned mine shafts and crevices and stuff. And I've got like chunks not loading here, which is kind of crazy. Because right here, the tower, right? So this is my first XP farm here. But you know how like a lot of YouTubers have been making blaze farms, automated blaze farms, so that they can get lots of XP? Yeah, I don't, don't need it. You, you just make fire resistance and you just go into the blaze area and just kill them. I just enclosed it. I just It's basically an arena and I get so much XP just from that alone. It's nuts. Okay, elephant in the room, giant tower. This is actually my first building that I built and I just kept making it taller and taller and taller. At least it's already been here. And I was thinking of putting absolutely everything in this building. Farms, Enchanting, brewing, storage, everything. And now I've thought of, you know, I'd rather have like a community of buildings. So I'm thinking of turning this tower into basically a mob spawning mob pads. Have them drop down to the center there uh, to die so I can get, I guess, gunpowder. Um, but either way, at the very top, I've got a nice viewing platform. So you can see signs. Level 9, Enchanting Brewing. This is a 10 level building, although technically it's 12 levels. Uh, so it's my brewing station here. Got my brewing ingredients. Got my enchanting table here. And then this used to be my penthouse. This is where I was sleeping until I built my house. So some of the structures, you can see how triangular the pyramid is from up here. Uh, the loop de loop stuff over there that's the shape of my house uh, missing chunks there but you see it's not just a straight building it's got some gentle curves to it I like to you know have a little bit of shape to things otherwise it gets a bit boring uh, like just big square buildings <laughs> like Phil does <laughs> uh, you see all this like ruined 
land here. This was all like big dunes, sand dunes and stuff, and I flattened all of it with TNC. It took forever. It's the farm down there is kind of nice and colourful. You can really see the fence line from from up here. So you can see the entire fence line all the way around. That was all dunes over there. There's still lots of dunes and stuff here, and then some grassland here. I'm thinking I'm gonna make an area for animals to graze, and I have no idea what the biomes are gonna do when I turn jungles on because the generator's gonna change. But we'll see. So yeah, that's my land. Then we're gonna go to that. Let's go up to the glass se uh, semi-sphere, Lisa, because that's where the map is. Yeah, you can run downstairs, but you can't run upstairs. And I don't know about you, but I can run upstairs in real life, so you should be able to run upstairs in, in Minecraft. Yeah, in, la in the last world, all I wanted to get was lapis. I was always looking for lapis. Now I've got way too much lapis. Because of, like, fortune pick. I had a fortune pick after we killed the dragon. I had heaps of XP, so I made a whole bunch of picks. I got a fortune pick. When I got lapis, and I just got too much lapis. Just way too much lapis. I don't know what to do with it all. Where's Lisa? I came out the wrong way. Okay. Of course. Treasure map. Yeah, I'm using the pirate speak language. <laughs> so you can see uh, my terraforming efforts have left a real mark on the map. Actually, I'm just going to go a little bit outside my territory so it looks a bit better. So we can see more. we got a village just over here. Lots of derps in the village. I guess eventually they'll actually do something. Right, so... Yeah, you can't really see the perimeter on this map. But you can definitely see all of the, the grey in the centre and even the curved edges of my building. So, then, yeah, I've definitely made a mark on the land, but you see this, like, each map is 1024 by 1024, so you can, you can see all of the land that anybody owns if they make their map in the center, and that's, that's where this map was set, is in the center block. So, yeah, lots of swamp, lots of plains, and two deserts is my land. And two villages, actually. Well, one of the villages is the first village that we all started near. And I don't really think it's worth running all the way out to Riverwood for that. Mm. It's like a zombie under this sand or something. Oh, yeah, he's glitching right there. <laughs> um, wait, so you don't have any snow in your land? Uh, I do. I've got a little bit of snow out, way out that way, and a little bit of snow way out that way. That, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, let's just jump into the nether and end this episode there, and we'll head to your lands. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of people playing on the server now, and bit by bit, it's growing. Like, you know, we're all connect- almost all of us are connected by the nether now. Uh, and I've managed to get a proper nether wart farm up and running. My fire potions, fire resistance potions. And I guess one of the next things we need to do is, well, after we're all connected, is have a central hub in the net, in the nether. Okay, so we're going to end this episode here and we'll pick it up when we get to Lisa's place.